What is going on lads and welcome back to another video. So I did get a lot of questions on the last video that I put up about the overpowered defenders and about the new kind of style of defending and it has gone very, in my opinion, I still have to play a couple of more games of the of, of eFootball 2023. I've just been quite busy and I haven't been able to sit down and play for an extended period of time, but I am going to be doing so today after I record this video and get this up. But there's a lot of changes to the defensive side of the game, right? So there is there is a lot of key things that you guys need to look out for that you might have not looked out for before in PES or in eFootball 2022. So in the actual update file itself, check out my last video. I do go into a bit of detail in it there as an introduction into the new changes and the adjustments that they've made to the, offense, to the defensive awareness stats and how they influence the speed of movement and acceleration and players with high defending awareness will be able to accelerate in a quicker manner. Um, and I'm going to get into that over the course of this video in a more thorough way. So I think it has gone a little bit more Pez 21-ish, where it kind of, if the defender now wants to get the ball, he will get the ball very aggressively. So there is a couple of stats that they have tweaked to adjust for this from what you're seeing on the on the pitch, like in front of your eyes when it's 11 v 11 on the pitch, when you're controlling your players and the AI is controlling your players and stuff, uh, to what is actually going on under the hood with the stats, right? So this is obviously the more boring part of it, but the, the stats devi defined here, the acceleration stats are defined, and then we have all the defensive stats defined as well in the game. So the big one we're looking for here is defensive awareness, which indicates how quickly the player responds to the ball when defending. Couple that with the acceleration, which is getting the player to his top speed, and then you have aggression, which indicates how aggressively the, pl the player will attempt to steal the ball during challenges. So they've kind of tweaked the defensive awareness in the biggest way, in the fact that the AI now is very, very tuned in to actually just getting the ball, whether you're controlling the player or not. Some are liking it, some are loving it, some are hating it. So it does take a little bit of getting used to, and I think that, yeah, they will need to tweak it a little bit. I mean, I've gone on record plenty of times saying that I do think that the AI should be very manual. You know, you should be able to make your own mistakes in, when you're defending and have the skill gap there. But obviously then as well, you know, you do have to balance it in a way that, you know, if you don't have 20, 30 hours to learn to defend the mechanic of the game, you know, you want people playing your game. So it is the sweet spot, which we'll get into in a different video. But the player skills then are different. And we're going to take a look at the player skills in a player profile in a second. But you've got man marking, interception and blocker. They are the three, in my opinion, that are the most important now after the latest 2.0 update with eFootball 2023. And again, we all have different opinions. I'm sure you guys watch other content creators. We'll all have different opinions, but this is just for me and my play style. When you look at somebody like Gabriel, right? He is a very cheap kind of basic center back that you will have a nice balance of defensive awareness and a nice couple of player skills as well. And over on eFootballDB.com, when we actually simulate his training and what he actually maxes out at, you can see that you can get him at 72 acceleration and 87 defensive awareness with 90 aggression. So for, I think he's about 70,000 GP, the guys are still updating the prices on eFootballDB, but for about 70 grand GP, which is very cheap, you've got a very solid 89 overall center back there. When you actually extend that out and look at the likes of Ruben Diaz, who I think after the patch is probably top three in the game, uh, as defensive, you know, center backs with an all-rounder, he can play the ball, he can pass it out, he can, you know, tackle, he's defensively aware of everything going on around him, he's not the slowest, you know, and obviously with the jump in stats to the defensive awareness, he's able to react to the ball a lot quicker. So when you max him out on eFootball DB, you were going to get a whopping 95 defensive awareness here with 95 aggression, which is absolutely incredible for eFootball 23 with the way the gameplay is at the moment. And then you're also going to be having him at 70 speed and 70 acceleration. So this kind of changes things up from eFootball 2022. When all the center backs, I always used to go on and harp on about having, you know, one small mobile versatile fast uh, center back. Um, and then having like a really tall center back. But as we take a look back at the update file, which you can see by pressing start in game on the main eFootball menu and then going to the third page of this update file patch notes, you will see there that they do have implemented the adjustments to the defensive awareness stats. So the higher defensive awareness stats, that is going to influence the speed of the movement and acceleration in defensive situations. So you're not going to be running the pitch with Ruben Diaz because he's got 70 acceleration like you would with Sterling or Mbappers. But you will be able to accelerate and get back on the defense in a way quicker manner than you would going forward. 
I like the concept behind this, but as you take a look here at Timber, right? When Timber was like the man to get in eFootball 2022, going back six months or so, when he was kind of the, the meta center half to get for so cheap, he was only 18,000 GP. He has gone up now, I think he's 29,000 GP, but he had 89 acceleration and 80 defensive awareness. The defensive awareness and the defensive defensive engagement and stuff wasn't as important. You know, it was a mixture of his pace, his speed, and then obviously his player skills as well. But that 87 aggression and the acceleration are still there. There still need to do a couple of tests with it, lads, because Timber is kind of an enigma or kind of a, a rare player that he does have such fast base acceleration stats. He's kind of like, uh, Hernandez from Milan he'll be able to get back on a lot of positions that he wouldn't be able to but the thing is is that you could actually get a lot of joy out of having a really slow center back now that is able to get back on the defensive side of the game which we'll see in a couple of clips here but as I said I'm still learning about like the sweet st spot between acceleration and defensive awareness and what exactly is getting the bigger boost you know if you have a 90 overall acceleration center back that's able to get back from just pure raw speed or if you've got like a 75 defensive awareness player that is able to just get back um, similarly in a way that a 90 uh, overall or a 90 rated acceleration stats player would get. So I'm just having a couple of clips here, as you'll see here, Roberto Carlos. This is what I'm talking about. It's just the, the reaction that they seem to be more honed in on the ball. And you can see their PO as well. And then I give it back out into Vieira here. Mario's going to try and do the one-two. But watch how he tracks my run. Up in Meccano tracks my run beautifully. And then Zakaria takes it back. Similarly here, you've got the team press, which is very aggressive in eFootball 2023. It needs to be toned down a little bit in my opinion it does favor the lesser skilled defenders that just want to spam the teammate press but you'll see here again i just shove him off the ball and get that little chance again you'll see here same in interception with the physical contact so there is a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes i think with the new player defensive awareness and stuff but i still do think just to give yourself the best kind of longevity insurance for having a solid squad i do think if a defender isn't working for you lads you need to just get him out and just don't don't to focus too much on the overall stats focus on how he's playing for you because depending on your skill level you could you know play and get to division one with a back line of pepe and um Matt Hummels, you know what I mean? You That are really, really one of the slowest pairings in the game instead of having somebody like Timber who's got 89 acceleration um, or whoever, like David Alaba or somebody like that. So it depends on your play style. But for, you know, the average player, I think you do need to have still, you know, that, that kind of eye on getting your team, setting your team upright. So just keep an eye on it, lads. I'll be back quite soon. I hope this video helped you. I did a lot of research on this, so I would appreciate if you guys can subscribe as we try to get to 20,000. And I feel like a beg. I feel like a beg asking, but I would like to get to 20,000 subscribers and uh, it would be a huge achievement. So I do appreciate you guys checking out all the videos and giving me a load of ideas for videos and get in touch in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like me to go into in depth and maybe a couple of more examples or whatever, let me know and I'll be back quite soon with another video. Peace.